Hey there, YouTube. Hello, crafty people. I'm Joe. You're watching Ink and Iron, and it is day 18 of quarantine. So we're getting weird. We're going to anodize some titanium. I was going to do a long intro, but we're going to get straight to it. So, let go. is 45 volts should get a light blue fingers crossed super light spin it around get that tip can barely tell the difference Okay, flip it again. Let's make sure we did everything that we could. Yeah, it's light blue. Take a better look at it later, do a little close up. All right, we're gonna tear this down and add more batteries. Okay, six batteries, 54 volts. And this one's going to be the this clip for this knife. Shooting for yellow. Hopefully we get yellow. Looking a little green. that dry okay just for fun drizzled some rubber cement on there hopefully you can see it now we're gonna hook it up to our positive connector and hopefully get a cool effect otherwise this could get really gross It's a weird color. <laughs> I think these batteries are dying. Interesting. Okay. We've got like a very light pink color. Oh god. Focus. Yeah, it's hard to tell. We'll do some close-ups. Okay, I had to get some direct sunlight for this one. It's a little hard to see. You can see the blue where the rubber cement was, and then sort of that muddy pink color. It's not... <laughs> Good job, bud. Good job, Zeb. Hello, Mia. Yeah, the cats are close proximity <laughs> yeah you just you keep going bud that's fine I'm not, I'm not shooting a video or anything uh where was I let's take a look at the other one you see that light gold color uh, a little bit greenish I think most of the issues I'm experiencing are just from the batteries I use the same eight batteries for like five different pieces that I anodized already so I think it's just a matter of having a more powerful like uh, power supply but yeah really cool result and that rubber cement definitely works as our sort of baseline titanium color here's a pen from Reich knife I do have a couple of videos featuring this pen so hopefully you have a good sense of what it looks like normally it's just sort of a gunmetal silver kind of color so first up I'll try to do a brown to match these micarta scales on this Manix 2 and uh, kind of ended up with like a you can see it's like a muddy purple so yeah not quite brown 
Then I went ahead and did a pen. This is another titanium pen. And I tried to anodize it gold. Uh, I would say up here, these little pieces definitely turned gold. These are a little more yellow. Clip is pretty yellow, barrel's yellow. And then there's kind of a greenish, like a green blue haze on this part. Um, that may be due to the fact that uh, this inner part, this was black, so I guess it was painted aluminum. So yeah, I, uh, ooh, I uh, basically fried all that paint off of there in the process of anodizing it. So that was a little unfortunate. However, I think it turned out okay. I'll probably redo it in the future though. Next up, Spyderco Caribbean. And strangely enough, you can actually see the difference between the blue and the pink in here. Um, I was going for pink to match with this blue just for fun to see if my setup could do it. However, I think the 9 volt battery series I was running simply ran out of power. So uh, yeah, I'll probably have to attempt it again with a better power source. And then the result I am most happy with is probably this one. This is the Native 5 Salt. I have custom dyed this. I do have a video about that. Link in description. Um, but I wanted a yellower clip. This was a very titanium looking clip, very much like this color. And so now it is sort of a gold, yellow gold color. And uh, yeah, I think it looks a little better on there. Let me know what you all think of my results and uh, what you think I should work on next. Um, my normal game around here is fountain pens, EDC, pocket knives, multi-tools, that kind of thing. If you like this content, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my Patreon for more free content. That's right, you can sign up for my Patreon for free and get more content. Okay, I've been Joe, and you've been watching Ink and Iron. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.